hello besties and my people how are you guys doing i hope you're doing great okay it's been a while and i promised you guys i was gonna get you you know bonding with my grandma part five so this is it all right this is the moment i will ever cherish forever and i promised you guys i was gonna tell you something you know uh, that i have learned one of the things i have learned because i learned so many things from this my visitation to my grandma just right there in the village I learned that please it's important for you to take good care of your health during your youthful age and uh, I mean your you know growing up when you're still young do not take so many things serious in this life take good care of your health and make sure you don't struggle so much even if things are not working out for you please and please just leave out some do the ones you can at that moment because guys it's not really easy my grandma being a widow life has not been easy for her you know, training her children, her grandchildren. But I thank God for her life. Okay, guys, let me take you guys through this vlog. And remember, like I said, if you're someone that forms or pretends or just living a fake life, this this video is not for you. Okay, this is me doing my morning duties, trying to sweep the, the balcony before I started sweeping the compound. You know, these duties are very important. I can't just forget growing up in this house. Chai childhood memories is something i will never forget guys i am really happy doing these things that i love okay then after this i decided to go and sweep the compound with the long room which is called okoba in Igbo dialects Igbo language so if you've not heard of the long room you know that is made from a palm three palm fruits okay if you've not heard of it you're going to see me sweep the compound with it okay let's continue guys just stay tuned for my original content you're going to love this vlog and i still have like at six the last part of this vlog okay? so this is my cousin okay trying to cut down this ripe plantain this is real organic food chai my people hey we don't know what God has done okay, for us away, right there in Nigeria, eh? we are really blessed. So he's trying to cut it down, and eh, he so actually you said that it's almost so, getting oh, yeah, right. So hey, wait. watch this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh -oh. Sorry guys, I'm just speaking my I'm mother tongue in case you don't understand the language, but at least you're enjoying the video, okay? This is me appreciating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. organic food, the village girl. Village so this is me sweeping the compound now with the long broom I told you guys earlier before. It's called Okopa in my mother tongue, okay? Chai. Sweeping this compound reminds me of my childhood. Guys, you will not understand. It's really, it's just that we are in a world that everybody just, you know, when you're grown now, you you just have to face life, face what, face what life brings to you, make some decisions that you keep, you kind of like regret after because we are all young and naive, some of us, okay? And coming back to my village after, so since 2011, that's after going to 14 years, it is not a joke, okay? So many things have gone, you know, wrong and also right. But in everything, I will also say that home is home. Home is home. There's no place like home. You can go anywhere you want to go, live abroad, you know, uh, migrate. <laughs> but you, never you forget home. It's very beautiful. So this is me here sweeping my compound. Uh, compound. And after this, after this sweeping, I am going to pack the dress. Before I can remember when we were very young, when I'm packing after sweeping this compound, we were also going to bring a kind of like those bin I put a pan and I put a head if you have something used to to carry the dirt. And after carrying the you know, packing it, I will go down to one of our lands down, you know, it's not like maybe about fourteen or fifteen minutes um walk just to throw away the the dirt. And um that's just what I'm going to do here. Okay? It's not been easy. When I say almost 14 years of not visiting my village, 
this is what life is all about sometimes you don't plan it but it happens but look at me now getting the bucket chai ijowa ngwangoseka bo wena fifia bo afifia ipo chai je za fo na mbana that is what we used to where we, where we used to go and <laughs> dump this um you know rubbish ah life take me back to my childhood memories but this time this time around i'm going to be <laughs> my daughter is looking at me <laughs> while i'm just <laughs> making this uh well, while i'm doing this voice over <laughs> why are you laughing this is what your mother went through this is what your mother went through this is yes real life you know story it's not that you guys are just here now you know you just be doing your own there is no there is no compound for you to go and sweep this is the real thing i continued my sweeping i don't mind my daughter i continued my sweeping so i had to sweep um back of the house okay 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 what I'm saying here, what I'm trying to say here is if you sweep the front of the house, you sweep back of the house, you sweep beside the house, just make sure that everywhere it's okay. And after sweeping these things, I just like, I'm sure that guys, uh, this vlog is long ago, just be patient with me because hmm, I am so happy. You guys are going to watch where me and my grandma were eating, we were eating together and she was so happy that we are eating together because anytime i try to serve her food she was like okay are you not going to eat with me i said okay don't worry i'm going to eat my own because her kind of meal is different from the one i eat okay and um but i try to join her to eat that food just to make her happy so this is me after sweeping i'm just trying to i'm still sweeping anyway just trying to make sure that everywhere it's okay and it's neat so right now i'm almost done Okay, time to pack the to that. Uh -huh. Look at me dancing. It's a kind of peace that comes with this environment. Uh, it's unexplainable. Uh -huh, guys, I was just home and uh, my brother went to get this thing. He said one man from another kindred decided to take the names of the elderly people in the village a kind of like in one kindred you're meant to bring like three names i think it's three names or six no i think it's about more than three names of elders um, that you know that they need help or you know truly this is a good charity work rice tomato paste um milo milk ground oil in this economy god bless this man Next year, guys, I told my brother to buy me meat. Well, I told my brother to eat rice. Just wanted rice. to eat very quick rice. And I said, okay, let me just um, let him just buy meat for me outside. And he bought us meat just for him alone. Or, anyway, it's, it's good meat. What do you guys think? This one is, I uh, just want to make sure. It's 2,000 naira. Just this meat. It's 2,000. It looks as if it's big here, but it's not big. Here. It's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Guys, what do you think? Oh, I made a very hot pot, <laughs> quick hot pot of jollof rice, and uh, it's uh, it's not really it's concussion. Oh, I loved it. I made it with uh, red oil. Hmm. Look at me here. Oh. Do you know where I was going to, <laughs> guys? You see this village that I traveled to. I made sure <laughs> I explored everywhere places I've not been for the past like yes. twenty something years. This is uh, look at me on the bike <laughs> enjoying my Land Cruiser. Places I've not been like more than two decades. This is Umudim, Umudim in Newi. Guys, can you believe we passed through Okongo Memorial? grammar school how many of you went to that school in Lewis? look at it now everything has changed look at the building Kai memories me enjoying my my peaceful environment and my ride guys yeah. okay just be exploring this road with you this is a moodin and uh, guys uh, the kind of breeze natural breeze that comes with this journey <laughs> Hey, if you if you tell me to go back again, I'll just pack my my load and go back again, guys. I can't forget 
this journey, this travel vlog in a jiffy, no way. Now, this is the company I call. How many, how many of you know about Tommy Tommy Indomie noodles? We drove past the company. It was a very big company, okay? I haven't actually uh, passed there for a long time. So, we passed through that and it's good to witness that. So, now we are actually on our way now because I told my brother to take me to the market a camel be again i love going to that place it's near the iwe palace so now we're just passing through saint thomas anglican church in banagotolo have you guys heard of that it's been long i actually went through <laughs> passed through this place decades i am enjoying home everywhere has just changed but i love it Development everywhere, nature, beautiful. See, I'm just discussing with my brother. He's telling, trying to tell me that, oh, yes, there are so much development. Everywhere has changed, but it's all for good. So we're heading to the market now, like I said. So we just got to the market now. Let's get to the market together, my people. Huh? If you guys see as this thing is sweet me, yeah. Uh, as this this thing is sweet me, but I say make I don't leave it, can't be that day. See joy, natural joy, natural happiness. We're still home. Oh. All this reminds me of my childhood memories. Childhood memories. Chai. Now we got home, it's time for me to eat with my grandma because I made her wheat and plantain for Fino Swallow for her to eat with her otazi leaf, bitter leaf, and she said I must eat with her. Join her face. Grandma, I love you. God keep you alive for us, please. Come and join us, guys, please. Village life. Wanaga. So she told me to turn the plantain, the swallow upside down so that the one up we get, uh, the one that we get colder. So, and I started hating her. She loves that so much. This is my grandma, eh? Hey, Jurek. So this is my brother Oni. I haven't seen him since 2011. That's 13 years, not 14 years old, guys. He was thinking it's three or four years. A child, no. It's, it's almost going to 14 years. 13 years anyway, not 14. Uh, this guy, yeah, he's good in wrestling, you know. Hmm. And he's very strong. I was so happy. So, so happy. Seeing him and seeing some people that I haven't seen in, in a while. Uh, then I head off to go and make my hair. So, first of all, I had to lose my hair and uh, headed to the stylist that is going to make my hair. She said I should come, that she's going to wash the hair then make the hair for me okay mm. Mm. so this is me going down the stylist came to pick me up okay and we we're just walking down <laughs> guys <laughs> You see this place that we're walking down no? hey like i said that is more than how many decades i've known i've not walked down through this place everywhere has changed the roads were tied like literally all this place used to be you know bushy you know houses but look at developments everywhere there's this odala that we used to 
come here what is odala here in english is called cherry i think so or in any language we call it odala we always come here early in the morning as early as, as five o'clock we come <laughs> and wait for the dollar to fall down to you know for us to pick it up so this is us going on this is actually way to my primary school the very northern primary school chai life oh life oh hmm Mm. Memories, memories, memories. Chai, I didn't feel like just leaving. I didn't feel like going back again. I just felt like, because I felt peace in this village. I felt peace. Look at our <laughs> primary school uh, boss. Ah, things have changed though. All the roads are tied now. No more bomb people. Ah. Let me just sit down and start making my hair, Jerry. Okay. Oh, my bushy hair. What are you feeling like, this girl? I better keep your hair and make your hair, Jerry. So you just go and meet your grandma. Look at. Look at. <laughs> See now, we know where you're making hair, we just be gossiping. <laughs> How many of you, when you go to this alone, you're making hair, you just be gossiping, <laughs> saying things. Meanwhile, there is one uh, one boy that was just crying, a child that was just crying. It happens to be that it was the elder one that was crying, and the younger ones were just there. You see? Hmm. <laughs> Yes, how do you see my hair? It's neat, right? I like it. Simple. I use one attachment, one expression, the big one for this hair. I think I bought it 4,500 naira. No, 4,800 naira. But in Lagos, it was 4,005. But here, maybe. 4,800. Very neat, isn't it? I know I have a very Simple. bushy hair, but I yes, try not to make it to be full. This is just one, one big attachment, the big ones, expression. What do you think? How does the hair look? Hmm? Hmm? How does the hair look? Hmm. See me, I don't, I don't turn, finish, or oh, one light, a lie. Hmm. But how much I yeah? the length it's long enough i'm trying to put my hair now in hot water just to straighten the hair it was a bit painful here so i've just finished now it's time for me to start walking back home to go and meet my grandma sharp sharp fast fast because i missed her <laughs> i miss looking for her trouble and miss miss the you know hailing her Calling her her nickname. No. It's at all the road again. Going back. Chai. See this way. I decided to go quickly. Just peep into my primary school. And lots of changes. Chai. Is now inside the compound. Like really inside. And all protected. Which is good for the kids too. To be not real primary school. Daddy, Oji and Banefo, and wife, we miss you guys. Lovely and lovely people. So, going home, just walking straight. Remembering all my childhood friends' houses. So funny that <laughs> you see what I'm just remembering here. All the people that we grew up with, everybody is just like you know, different places now, different locations, and married. Well, that's life, life goes on. Anyway, I just walked towards our signpost, my primary school to signpost. Uh, the Ben Nozzle and primary school. Shall I see our <laughs> signpost too? Or is still just school? So, guys, hmm, you see, lantern. I've, I don't even know they, are, they, they will still be selling lantern today so my mom my grandmom it's so 
she can't do without lantern so the one we had is actually it started leaking on there so i said to tell my i told my brother to get me another lantern this is the big one he said the smaller one is about seven thousand but this one it's guess how much guys with the way things are expensive in Nigeria, I didn't even know they. I didn't even know they're going to still get this lantern. They're still selling lantern <laughs> today because I know we have loads of uh, rechargeable li lights now. You know, in placement of this lantern, but surprisingly, we got the lantern. Guess how much it is, guys? Ten thousand naira. Ten thousand naira. Things are very expensive. What light are I'm telling you guys. And it came with the funnel and the. And the, you know, the what they call this one again. In Igbo language, you say Owu lamp lantern, the wolf, you know. So that is it, <laughs> guys. Unbelievable. So this is it. They have even extra because it has the wool, but they have extra wool here and instructions. Who they read instructions? <laughs> this is kerosene to fill it up. You know how much it is. How many liters this is and how much is it, it is nigeria non jaga jaga hmm? so i'm gonna pour the kerosene so i just um, finished pouring the kerosene and this is the funnel that's good so guys i had my friend take me out for a proper delicacy you can see chai home is beautiful oh. And this one is Ofe Nsala. Chai, see your rishi rishi inside. Okay, they even have their own, their own water. Yes, they have their water branded. That's business strategy for you. So guys, this delicacy I had not right now was actually in Oka. Okay, Oka town. And I tell you guys, I can't even remember when last I came to this Oka. So I decided to take some videos and memories of this beautiful city, okay, capital Oka. Look at that bridge. Mm. Guys, I see, anytime you see yourself home, try and explore. Go everywhere. Go everywhere because sometimes you might not even have the opportunity to go to visit those places, you know, at the time you want to. But when you look through the videos, your archives, you know, memories, you'll be able to see those beautiful memories even if you couldn't get there at that moment but watching those videos reminds you that there is still hope for you my people how many of you have visited this miriago have you come across it hmm. at this river oh my people it's not small thing no people are just actually there not hey wow anyway from there we headed straight to the igwe palace anyway, so this is the the entrance of the igwe palace i haven't visited this palace in a while for decades like i keep saying this whole thing you know it's good to remember to see all these memories and um i'm happy i witnessed it guys igwe palace <laughs> when when the time for afiolo you know, our normal August uh, cultural masquerade time. Everybody just gathered together in a boom in them hall, you know, um, Igwe Palace. We are going to be seeing this different uh, display of masquerades. So, this is it. So, we got into his palace because we wanted to see the prince. And this is the prince, the handsome prince. Chai. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at the beautiful display, you know, traits. Beautiful. Nice. If you go home, go and visit your your Igwe or crown prince. is very, very important. I, I know this face. You know, I enjoyed it. And we too, I took picture with uh, the prince who recently lost his mom. So the first wife of Igwe Kenneth Urizu. So we lost her. May her soul rest in peace. And the bearer is coming up. Okay. so guys i hope you enjoyed watching this part five okay with me and god bless you guys and thank you so much for watching watch out for part six and no matter where you are in this part of the world never forget your lovely ones back home if you can't get to them call them always and try and visit them